project was a, to build a paper roller coaster with like materials. You were only allowed one like roll of masking tape, and the other like the other like paper things were provided by the teacher. It's pretty much on potential and kinetic energy, which is like if it's potential energy, it's not in motion, it's stuck. If it's in kinetic energy, it's moving, and they can be transferred from one another, like. Potential can, if it starts moving, it turns into kinetic energy. And if kinetic energy stops moving, it turns into potential energy. Today, we threw a carnival to showcase students' work on roller coasters that they've been building in seventh grade science. We are studying physics this trimester, and specifically energy. The standard for seventh grade science, one of the standards is energy, uh, specifically potential and kinetic energy. And students are able to showcase uh, kinetic and potential energy with their roller coasters. Ours is Disney villains themed, so it has Scar at the top that he drops you down, like in the scene from Lion King where he drops Mufasa down into the herd of animals. Then it goes to um, the Queen of Hearts, and it shoots you up again when, like, it, you see the chest that said that with the candies that are filled with the feed me cookies that like make Alice grow taller. Then it goes down to Ursula's Whirlpool and then it goes to Hades and we named that Hades Basement. Um, ours was Adventure Time theme and so it starts at the top with the marble coming out of the vampire princess's mouth and then it goes down and there's all kinds of different stuff around. There's uh, two of Finn's swords from Adventure Time. One of the funnels is uh, the marble goes into Jake's mouth which is the dog. And then there's also like bats for the vampire princess all around the build.